Good morning everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm just about to leave the apartment to go to the hairdressers to go and get my hair done. I thought I would do a full vlog today of me showing you how I get my hair done really. Like I've never really done like a full transformation video from my non-extension hair to my full extension glam, curled, all that good stuff hair. Um, I'm getting a full new head of extensions today, so that's very exciting to get a full colour. Everything's going to be done today by my hairdresser, Emily Rose Monk, um, who I'm sure a lot of you probably know from Instagram. She's done my hair for literally like four years now, way before Love Island, um, so me and her have a lot of history. I've got loads of things on this week. I may have gone yesterday and picked up some things for the giveaway which I'm not going to show anything of just yet. I don't want to jinx it because we're not at a million yet. We've still got like a few thousand to go, quite a few thousand to go actually, but I'm hoping within maybe like two weeks we might get there, fingers crossed. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and you will see this giveaway very, very, very soon. I've still got more to buy. I have gone crazy with this giveaway, guys. Like I literally was sat in Louis Vuitton yesterday and I had like a sort of like thing in thoughts, I had in mind what I kind of wanted to get, I had a budget, we, we forgot about it straight away, we forgot about it straight away, but I just literally, the thoughts one of you guys getting all this stuff is making me so excited, anyway, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because that's not what this video is about today. So now I'm back from Italy and Crete and I'm home for a good while now, well, I say I'm home for a good while, I've got a really exciting shoot coming up again um, in a few weeks, but anyway, I'm home for a while now and um, I'm back on my diet plan. Um, that diet plan that everyone went wild about, like the cocoa pots. Well, anyway, I'm going to be making my lunch now to take with me um, to the hairdressers because, uh, basically, my appointments are about six hours long. No, to be fair, it might be a bit shorter today because my extensions are already out of my hair. Um, so it's just literally going to be a colour and putting the extensions back in. So I don't think it'll be as long today, but it's still like a long appointment because extensions are not a quick thing to do. And obviously, if you want them done well and like perfectly, then like you have to take your time with it. Um, so I'm going to make my lunch now. I'm just going to make a chicken wrap with lettuce, a little bit of cheese in it, um, and like a like a wrap. Like that's part of my diet plan for my lunch. And it's actually a really nice lunch. It's very filling. I was just wrapping this up, but then I forgot I never showed you guys. So inside my my wrap I've got turkey sausages, lettuce, cheese and then a tiny bit of like tomato salsa thing. Looks disgusting, doesn't actually taste disgusting and it is really healthy, much healthier than I normally would have for a lunch. So we're going to start colouring the hair now, we're going to keep the roots, um, we've just sectioned it, well Emily's just sectioned it at the top. My hair's a little bit flaky which is disgusting but obviously being away and stuff my, my scalp got a little bit burnt so I've got a few snowflakes in there which we're not going to worry about. Look who I've just bumped into at the salon. See, look, Rach, why is this not focused? Now, oh, here we go. Hey. Look, us both, like, natural hair, like, No, fine. I actually, I need to stop. So, so I'm, I'm here with Rach. Though. Rach is having a hair transformation as well. Yeah, you'll soon see. You'll soon see on you'll her see, YouTube. You'll soon see. Um, but we're going to have a catch up now. So we're using a mix of colours today. These are obviously my Beauty Works extensions. Um, a few months ago we were using just Ice Blonde and my whole hair was just one shade, but now we're mixing it up a little bit um, just to make it like a more ashier look. finished we have curled it and styled it and this is the finished result so i'll show you more when i get home because there's music playing in here and i don't want to get copyrighted but so happy with the finished result i want to get back to come around and give me a massage baby so i fuck out tonight yeah only for a little bit though it's only 45 minutes i'm like i can't have got trains oh tomorrow. i don't want to go to cinema anyway do what you want Please? no i don't want to go to cinema anyway do what you want i want to see if you can cook and if you can't buy you said you didn't want to go to cinema. I don't want to go to cinema. Right, well, literally, I'm going to be 45 minutes getting rubbed out, and Matt's not the one to leave here, is he? Why is he shouting? I don't know. Why are you shouting? Because you're getting in the mood about it. I'm not getting in a mood about you right, getting a massage. Well, Matt's just going to come and stretch me out. Why well, Matt gives me a massage? Um, Right, guys, I am back from the hairdressers. Um, 
Sorry I didn't film amazingly whilst I was there. I always plan to film at the hairdressers and like show you the whole process and everything, but I always get stage fright. So um, yeah, I hope you got a good understanding of what happens when I get my hair done. This is the finished result. I'm so pleased with it. Emmy did an amazing yeah, job good. as normal. I'm having some chicken breast, potatoes, and some veg. Very exciting and not. Um, we were gonna go to the cinema tonight, but there's nothing on. And like cinema's my favourite thing to do, but there's just never anything on at the moment. I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I have just got back from my riding lesson. It is actually quite a few progressive days later than I last vlogged, but I'm just about to head into town to Zara. Um, so I thought, why not bring you guys along with me and show you what's there? I actually did a little um, Zara haul on my Instagram story. Can you still see me? Yeah, not that long ago. And I did. I was able to try the stuff on because obviously you can't try things on at Zara at the moment because the change rooms are shut. So, tried the stuff on when I got them back to the house, didn't like pretty much any of it. So I've just ordered an Uber now. I look extremely pale. I've had a headache, to be honest, for the last three days, um, which is slightly concerning. I think I'm just really dehydrated. I think I need to drink a bit more water, to be honest. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go into town now, go to Zara. Then I have a Barry's class after that. So that's like a Barry's boot camp, which is when I go and basically just die in a gym class for an hour. Uh, but yeah, let's go into town. Guys, I am like way too embarrassed to vlog out in public. I don't know what's happened to me. Like my confidence has, confidence has just gone. Um, but I've got the goods. I've not vlogged in any of the shops. I didn't get anything in Zara. Majorly unimpressed of that. Um, but yeah, everybody's staring at me. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down now, but I'll switch you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm sorry if the screen is a little bit blurry, but I have just found a little bit of a quieter spot. Okay. Okay, guys, there's some guys heckling me. Oh, this is why I just cannot vlog in public, guys. Listen to this. Hear that, guys? Just ignore it. Just ignore it. It's fine. I'm just on my way to Barry's boot camp now. As you can see, this is why I do not vlog in public, just because... <laughs> I don't know if you heard what those guys were shouting. I don't think you want to know what those guys were shouting, but um, yeah, it wasn't great. So I, don't, I think I'll just wait and vlog till I get home and I'll show you the bits that I bought. Um, I went into Zara, they didn't have much. Um, so I just returned the stuff that I wanted to return and then bought some new um, bits from Topshop, Urban Outfitters. So I fly to Milan tomorrow and I've not even thought about packing yet, which is a really interesting one. So when I get home, I'll just pack with you guys. We can just pack together, stress together, cry together. Um, we can just do it all together. It's gonna be great. Just finished up Barry's and I am actually lying. Like too bad, the sweat's kind of gone out. But my hair looks like I've just got out of the shower. This is what it looks like in the red room where Barry's takes place. So it's like all treadmills and then floor benches where you kind of like alternate so you go on the um, treadmills and you go on the floor so it's like an hour intense hit workout it's like the best fat burner ever Right, we'll have one in Milan, honey. Thank you so much. Sorry, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I am just back from Barry's and I'm home now. Need to get ready to do everything, like packing everything. But before we do that, I'm actually getting my eyebrows done with Gronya. So I've got Gronya around right now who's going to laminate my brows, which is really exciting. I know I've had it done once before. I don't think I showed you guys it when I had them laminated, but I've had them laminated before and we're going to do it again. Obviously, fly to Milan tomorrow and my brows, I mean, they're actually a mess. I've not actually touched these for like I think literally since the start of lockdown now I'm not even joking I tried to do them myself um, and I'm not an eyebrow tech <laughs> absolutely not so they were an absolute hot mess so I'm so excited to actually get these done properly now I'll show you a little bit of the process of getting my brows laminated if you guys are interested in that because I am so fascinated by the process of it it's obviously quite a new thing brow lamination like it's not been around for ages so we've just well gone just waxed my eyebrows to get rid of all those nasty hairs that were underneath and now we're going to go ahead and laminate them so now i'm cling filmed and we have the laminating potion on my eyebrows and that'll cook now and then when you take it off they'll be set in place and the home the, the wanderer has just walked in who's that you Oh, you're, you're the wanderer. Where have you been? 
Ben to San Carlos without me. Didn't get the invite. Didn't get the call up. No, I didn't get the call up to go for an Italian. Would have been lovely. So my eyebrows are now all done. This is how they look now they've been laminated. As you can see, it literally leaves them looking. I can't even explain it. Just like so different and thick. So guys, I'm coming to you from my dressing room toilet. Don't think I've brought you guys in here before. Maybe I have for a little tour. I look so rough right now. Let's not talk about it. Um. Anyway, I thought, I mean, this is a bit of a tricky one. Basically, I thought I would um, show you a little bit of fake tanning. <sighs> Basically, I've always wanted to film a full tanning routine. Obviously, I have my own fake tan company. I have filled by Molly May. Um, and I've always, always, always wanted to film a full YouTube of my tanning routine. One day, I will do this. I will pluck up the courage to do this. There are several reasons why I haven't done this so far. Um... Like personal reasons to do with just like just like loads of things like the thought of just like being in a bikini on my youtube it shouldn't scare me i've also actually had a bit of a skin issue um i have been kind of battling with this pigmentation issue which i've mentioned to you guys so many times and i'm sure you're so bored of it um i've been battling with it for like the last year since coming out of love island i've had this um you, you really literally won't be able to see. To me, it's like literally such an issue. I love having my own brand of fake tan so much, but what hurts me so much is that I feel like not comfortable enough in my own skin at the moment to promote it the way I want to, which is really, really rubbish. Well, basically, I've had spoken to a few different um, dermatologists and doctors and stuff, and we've come to the conclusion that it's something called Tinea Versicolor. Um, that's apparently what they think it is. It's basically like where different parts of the skin go lighter and darker. It's a bit weird. Basically, the doctor suggested that I rub, um, rub anti-dandruff shampoo on my skin and that's supposedly going to get rid of it. I mean, I've been doing that for the last week now and nothing has changed. In fact, I think it's gotten worse. But I'm constantly living in blazers, constantly covering up my arms, mainly because of that. Like, it's just not nice for me. And I hate the thought of people thinking, oh, she's got patchy fake tan. Like, feels like Molly May's giving Molly May fake, like, bad fake tan. And I hate the idea of that. It's way too hot there. Oh my god. So this is the first time me tanning in hello. Honestly, I didn't I didn't I didn't want to be in focus anyway. Forget about it. Hi guys, so I'm just gonna tan my leg. Um my leg is already super super dark, but that's from a natural tan. Um so I'm just gonna put one layer of extra dark on just so it kind of still looks like my natural tan. I honestly still cannot believe to this day that I created this tan. Like, I just still can't believe it's mine and that it's my formula. And look how smoothly that has applied. It is just the most beautiful olivey colour. I am obsessed with it. Look at me right now. I, I've never ever been in this position in my whole life. I, I couldn't, that leg does not look like my leg. It looks like someone's leg sticking from behind me. <laughs> morning everybody so i am currently just sat on my living room floor procrastinating still i had a bit of a pants morning basically i had this like really exciting work opportunity that i thought was kind of going ahead and then i found out this morning it's not going ahead anymore so yeah that's been a bit upsetting um it was something really exciting i'm not going to go into detail obviously but i think it's important that you guys still understand and know that like things definitely don't always go the way um i want them to you've got the whole of the giveaway in the background there um but yeah it didn't this work thing that i was really hoping was gonna go ahead has not gone ahead it wasn't anything major it wasn't anything big but it was something like really sentimental to me that i was really 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 wanting to go ahead and it hasn't which is obviously really gutting um and it's made my motivation to get ready to go away today even less um, so I need to actually pack now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and I leave in two hours and I've not even got my suitcase out of the cupboard yet. On my right is the whole giveaway. Um, I've just had one of the girls from my management come around and help me photograph it all. Um, because fingers crossed I might hit a million when I'm away in Milan and I don't obviously want to not have the post ready to go up and do the giveaway. So I have just done that now and guys, I cannot even get over this giveaway i'm just gonna stop going on about it now because obviously it's not about what this video is about i actually got sent this um as blanket as well this morning um from the luxury promise my friend works for the luxury promise it's a really cool like secondhand vintage um 
designer company and she sent me this Hermes blanket like as a little gift which is so 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 nice the most beautiful quality blanket I've ever felt like it's so thick uh, I really need to get a move on um, in fact let's just do it together because might as well Tommy's gone to Scotland this morning um, on a random one he's gone to train with his brother well his brothers so he's gone with Tyson and Roman um, to do some training out there in Scotland. Where's my suitcase? That's a good start. I don't even know where my suitcase is. It's just one of those ones, you know, when you find out some like rubbish news and you just need that one person there to like comfort you. And he's not here this morning, so that is really annoying. Here's my suitcase. <laughs> bought this dress in town yesterday this is from house of cb i actually saw my friend lily wearing this dress on instagram the other day um, it's like this kind of nude blazer dress it just kind of screams me <laughs> um and it has this kind of like tassel belt to tie around the center which i thought was really cute so i'm gonna pack that so i've just ordered myself a nando's just to cheer myself up a little bit i know i shouldn't be in a mood because i'm literally flying to milan in like a couple of hours and it's so exciting and i am excited but I don't normally leave things to the last minute and I've just left everything to the last minute so I'm a little bit stressed I'm doing one of those things where I've got that much to do but I'm just gonna sit and eat my Nando's like really slowly like I've got no intention of like speeding things up or adding any pace to this afternoon so you know look if we're ready we're ready if we're not we're not I got these halloumi cheese what are these these halloumi cheese like sticks oh my god these are the nicest things ever <laughs> oh my gosh and yes I started this vlog on a diet plan. I am still on that diet plan, but I just need to do a bit of emotional eating today. So we're just gonna do a little bit of emotional eating. It's fine. You have to allow cheat days, otherwise you will never stick to the plan. Got my chicken pizza, got my Coke. Okay, the mood's coming right back up now, guys. Everything's looking up, okay? Who cares about a stupid job that we didn't get when you've got Nando's and you're going to Milan and everything's fine to the sofa we go so guys i know i've not vlogged for about the last two hours but i managed to get myself packed finally and now we're on the way to the airport to head to milan so i'm going to bring this vlog to a close because i'm actually now starting my next vlog so thank you so much for watching the video guys i really really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully i'll see you all in my next one bye